Hello everyone, this is Ashang David and in today's video we are going to talk about installation of Tableau. Now, for those people who don't know about what exactly is Tableau, I have already done one video on Tableau and if you haven't watched that video, I'll definitely give you the link of that video in the description below as well as in the i button. So you can go ahead and watch that as well. And um, in this video, we are going to discuss about the installation of that Tableau into our system. Now, uh, for those people who don't know about that and still watching this video, let me just tell you that Tableau is a very, very popular uh, data visualization tool which allows you to do data visualization without coding anything in the computer science field. It has been used in many different places, basically for MBA also, for finance also, and people use it in uh, different uh, technologies, right? So basically to display the data and to work around with the data, we use Tableau. And basically it is a very powerful data visualization tool that we are going to discuss in the coming up playlist. This video is the part of the playlist for Tableau and here we are going to discuss everything about Tableau. So in today's video, let's talk about that. And before I start with this video, I would like to request you people to please like, share and subscribe to our channel Code is Arcane. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. Alright, let's start. So first of all, we need to understand about um, how to download Tableau first of all. So the, so the website that we have here is Tableau.com as you can see here. Uh, if I open up this very clearly, it's www.tableau.com and uh, here from this website you can download Tableau. So basically Tableau was a software which was taken over by the Salesforce company. That's the reason why the Tableau uh, logo looks like that. But if you go ahead into this website, you can know about what is Tableau and how people use it, different ways that you can use Tableau for and what are the features of Tableau, everything you'll understand it from this website also. And if we go here, there are many different things. So if you go onto the products section here, if I just click on to products here, you can see that there are many different products that we have here. And uh, we have Tableau Cloud, we have Tableau Desktop, we have Tableau Server and many different things. So we have Tableau Prep, uh, Tableau Data Management Tool, a lot of different uh, tools are there that could be used in order to work around with Tableau. Um, but here, there are the, the on the uh, you know navigation bar here, right here, you can see we have got different different options to work with. But here, the easiest way to download anything here is just hover your mouse over the products uh, drop down here, and there are two things that we are going to download. One is Tableau Desktop, and one is Tableau Public. So for those people, oh, let me just tell you the differences here between Tableau Public and Tableau Desktop. Uh, Tableau Public is basically free version of the Tableau and for those people who cannot afford Tableau and, and if you are starting just starting to learn with Tableau, I would highly recommend to go with Tableau Public. Although here there are some differences, not much difference. Everything what you can do in Tableau Desktop could be done in Tableau Public, but there again, uh, here the limitations come here. So there are some limitations like you cannot open up every file here like how you can open up in Tableau desktop but uh, in Tableau public uh, we can open up only some limited amount of data and we can connect our Tableau with many, many, many different uh, not much many different uh, data bases only few limited are there. So that is the difference. So if you are starting with Tableau and if you are looking for a free version of it, then definitely go with Tableau public. Otherwise you go with Tableau desktop. I'll just show you both the ways of doing it. So I'll just go here and click on to Tableau public first. And as soon as I go here, uh, you can see that this is Tableau public. Now here in this particular website, uh, here you can see that uh, Tableau uh, public download button. So if I just go here, go to Tableau public, it just goes here, goes up till here and you can see all these things here. You just have to click on to sign up for Tableau public. As soon as you click on to sign up for Tableau public, it will take you towards your uh, creation of your Tableau account. Well, I have already created my Tableau account. So I'm just going to click on to sign in. If you have not in created this Tableau account here, you have to first create your Tableau account. And then as soon as you click on to Tableau account, it will take you towards the download page. And for me, I have already done the Tableau 
thing uh, here. So I'll just go ahead and skip this part for you. Right. Right. So I have just signed in into my Tableau account. Now I can click onto the Tableau public here. And as soon as we click it here, you know, this part comes up here. So here you can just go to the create option here. And now you can just click on to download the Tableau desktop public edition. As soon as you click here, uh, you will be uh, getting up this window. And from this window, you can just click on to download Tableau public. Well, this is an automatic download window. If it downloads automatically for you, then it is okay. But if it doesn't start, then you have to click on to download Tableau public. As soon as you click here, again, uh, it is asking of the sign up option, but I've already signed up for this. So I'm just going to click again into sign in. I have already signed up here. And now, as you can see here, my name is up coming up here. And now I can just click on to download Tableau public and this will just allow me to download i'll click on to windows here and it asks me to download it and as soon as i click on to download you can see it goes on to the download option now well i have already downloaded this uh, into my desktop so i'm going to cancel it as of now and here you can see tableau public this is this uh, setup that i've already installed that downloaded here so I can just double click on to here and I this opens up this um, windows here and uh, I can just click on to I have read and accepted the terms of license agreement and I will just click on to don't send product usage data and I'll just click on to install and it asks me that changes have to be made into your system and then I click on to yes it will install everything and we don't have to worry much in Tableau public. It's very easy to install and easy to use. So now Tableau public has already been installed into our system and it is opening up. So as soon as you see Tableau public has been opened up and here um, these are the on the left hand side we have the connect panel where you have the options to connect this uh, Tableau to different different files. So here you have Microsoft Excel, you have text file, you have JSON file, you have Microsoft Access, you have PDF file, you have spatial file, you have statistical file and uh, to this, towards the server you have OData and on to the more you have on, on the options of Google Drive, OData and Web Connector. So uh, this is the place where you can see this is the visualization of the day, this is the discover window on the right hand side and down there uh, you're, it is just asking you to upgrade if you are okay. On the left on top side, you can see this logo right here, right? If you click onto this logo, this is, it will change it into this workspace window where this is how your workspace looks like. And on the, on the top also, now you can see all the buttons on the navigation bar are, are being shown to you. And this is, these, this is the place where all the buttons are kept into one place. If you click back onto that logo, it will just come back here. And uh, this is how you operate. This is a little bit of interface of Tableau that uh, you guys will be understanding and just seeing for the first time once as soon as you um, download it. And uh, we are going to discuss more onto this later on as we progress into our course. And uh, this is Tableau public. I'll just close this off. I'll go back to Google Chrome. And this was Tableau public. If you are looking for Tableau desktop version, that is the full version. And if you're ready to pay, you can just go back here. I'll just click on to just Tableau. Actually, I'll just go back to the Tableau website here where I just started from. I can just click on to Tableau. Not public, but just Tableau. All right, so I can just go on to back, go back to the Tableau homepage, and now I'll just hover my mouse over the product section, and here I can just click on to Tableau Desktop. Now, uh, as soon as I say Tableau Desktop, you can now um, just click on to start a free trial because if you are a new student here, which is just starting with Tableau, 
then you can uh, go around and avail a free trial and it is going to be free trial for 14 days so i'll just click on to this start a free trial and uh, you can just click on to download free trial if you haven't uh, logged in into your account then you have to log in into your account and then you have to click on to that and then you can just choose the location and you can save it for me it is already uh, downloaded as you could see here in my desktop i have already downloaded this version of tableau so i'll just double click and open it here and same thing you have to do here is i'll just click on to i have read the ex read and accepted the terms of the license agreement and don't send the product usage data i'll just click on to install and click on to yes on the changes made by the computer and then it just takes no time to get installed but there are a few things that you need to keep in mind because this is the paid version you need to log in here with the account that you have created on tableau and once it is done you are ready to work with the full version of tableau i'll just sign it up and i'll show it to you as soon as i open up this tableau desktop you see now for me already it has been uh, like i have already started my trial here so for me i don't have to log in again but uh, for you the login page will come there you just have to log in as soon as you log in and say start trial it will just start the trial i'll just click on to continue trial as of now for me and you can see this is how the uh, full version of tableau looks like so here on the left hand side the same thing connect version you have uh, connect window you have and if you click on to rather than just the logo here we are coming with the home button if you click on to that it again the same thing happens here um, but here you can see the differences here a lot of uh, things are there for you to uh, choose with as when it comes to uh, the uh, reading of the data from different parts if i click on to this more you can see how much options how many options you have this is the difference between tableau public and tableau desktop now tableau desktop which is a paid version allows you to have uh, connect your tableau with basically any type of data which exists in this world right now from aws to spark sql to mysql to basically anywhere you see it uh, you have azure we have uh, you have google uh, drive you have google cloud sql you have google bitquery as well you have amazon uh, services as well you have aws as well a lot of different things are there in order to work with you have the jdbc also option to connect and uh, odbc as well in this case a lot of different things are there so this is the paid version and here you can just connect your tableau with basically any type of data type that you have the database you have and you can work around it and do the same exact thing well this is how you install tableau desktop i hope so that you have understood the difference between the uh, differences here between tableau public and tableau desktop well tableau public is just a free version and a lot of the options are just limited for you to use but when it comes to tableau desktop if you are ready to pay if you cannot afford it and if you if you can afford it of course and if you are ready to pay you can go with tableau desktop again here for me it is five day trials left but for you as soon as you create a new account it gives you 14 days of trial if you want you can just create a new account and then work around with the newer newer uh, ide ids and uh, get this 14 days of free trial again and again so that is one way also you can use the desktop version uh we'll see the rest of the things in the next video i hope so that you have understood this very well how to install tableau into your system what are the requirements to install and what is the difference between tableau public and tableau Bay desktop i hope so that you have understood this very well if you have any doubts in this video tell us in the comment section below i will try to uh, clear as many doubts as possible and if you have liked the video give us a thumbs up and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel as well and uh, don't forget to uh, press the bell icon as well so that you won't miss any future updates well this is ashang david thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one till then happy learning